Okay, I'm going to use F equals MA to generate now the kinematics equation. These are very <gasps> complex equations compared to F equals MA. So let's see how we're going to do this. This is going to require calculus. So for those of you in this class who haven't had calculus, we're going to go beyond what you are familiar with. But those who have can see it now. Remember that F equals MA. Assuming that the mass isn't changing and the force isn't changing, we know that A is equal to a constant. Oh. Now, one fact is we know algebra, we know that in calculus, the integral of acceleration is velocity. Velocity equals the integral of acceleration dt. Wow. If A is a constant, that integral is equal to at plus v initial. This is our first kinematics equation. Ah. Velocity equals acceleration times time plus v initial. The second one is we know that position or distance equals the integral of velocity, which is equal to the integral of at plus v initial dt. Whoa. If we take that integral, we're going to find that d equals 1 half a t squared plus v i t plus uh, d initial. Oh. This is our second oh. equation. This equation for position, this equation for velocity. If the object is undergoing constant acceleration, these equations are perfectly appropriate and they're straight out of F equals MA. 